Oh. Good morning, sir. There's a fine line between stalking and being helpful. Okay, you're going to have to give us more? Yes. Okay, you can make your own mind up. This, I get this email from uh, Philip Cooper. He's obviously uh, surfs the internet quite a bit and he hops onto a whole bunch of blogs and chats away all day. Now, there's this website called vatkakeye.co.za. I haven't really been to the website, but I assume it's one of these websites where South Africans from around the world keep in touch. Okay. Now, this certain Marianne, who has been living in Shanghai, China, for the past, since February, in fact, mm -hmm. she leaves a note there at the start of the Olympics on the blog. This is what it says. Right. Hi, Reik. Niet lang. Oh, okay. Ek is in Shanghai op die oomblik en gaan nog hier wees vir a baie lang tyd. Um, ek wens jou al die beste en onthou dat ons allemaal vir jou baie stuif duim vasthou. Mm -hmm. Reik, as jy enige probleme het in die tyd wat jy hier in China is, kan jy my bel vir help. Sure. My nommer is... And it's a whole long Chinese cell phone number. Verence, all the best, and I hope that you and your family geniet dit here in China. Grootness, um, Grootness, Marianne. Right. Okay. And shame, the Oaks have been giving you a stick on the blog. Because everybody's saying, ah, oh, what a stalker, how's this lady, what a stalker, what a, what a, what a, what a. Mm -hmm. Right. So, the Olympics finished. Yesterday, I decided to call her. Well, what if Rake Nitlung happened to read this and Rake just decided to, to phone, phone her? her. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Into Rake. Hello? Hello, Marianne. Yes? Hi, it's Rake. Sorry? It's Rake. Rick, uh, Rick who? Rick Nietlung. <gasps> oh, oh, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I, I uh, saw you um, on a blog. My, my phone number, for in case you have any problems. Yeah, well, it's very, very, very nice of you. I just want to say that. Oh, it's only a pleasure. So did you watch much of the Olympics? Yes, I did. Yes, I even watched the closing last night. Aren't you guys on your way back? Well... You know, as you can tell, things didn't go too good with the Olympics, eh? I did see that, yes. Yeah, we were <laughs> quite down about it. And you know, this Sascock, they were pretty upset with us not coming anywhere because we were obviously the guys that they were banking on getting a gold. I know, it's, it's really terrible that that happened. I'm really sorry about that, but I was voting for you guys. You know what they turned around and said to us? No. They said, you can find your own way home. They said to us, you, you might as well swim. <laughs> Is this now the South African people that said that or the Chinese people? South African uh, Olympic Committee, they said, you can swim home and get some practice for London, 2012. How <laughs> <laughs> can they say that? Yeah, they cancelled that. Listen, yeah. They cancelled everything. But listen, do you perhaps um, lend us a couple bucks to get a ticket back? <laughs> Africa. Yeah. Okay, and what number can I reach you on? What's the hotel number? Okay, it's the Beijing Formula One. <laughs> Formula One? Way, what street address? Okay, the road is, let me spell it for you, it doesn't make sense the way I pronounce it. Okay, F. Yes. L I E D. Yes. L I C E. Okay. I don't understand what it. That is the street's name. It's okay, and what is the room number? Is number 613. 613. Okay, give me your mobile number. No, I don't have a mobile number. It's desperate and it's sad and it, we're embarrassed. And it's. <laughs> I, need, I need to reach you on a number. So if you just have a mobile phone, you just go and get a, uh, you know, like, uh, pay as you go. Um, it's a bit upsetting, you know. Okay. I can't believe it. We've we've gone from hero to zero in four years. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, shame. Michael Phelps guy. I mean, he's, he's he's somebody totally different. You can't compare yourself to him. No. Yeah, but it's because of him that we lost all our medals. One guy. 
Okay, so you calm yourself down, you go and get a top-up top up card, and then as soon as you have the number, you just text it to me. Roland, we're going home! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Are you okay? Yeah, Roland's crying in the corner. Okay, so uh, you, you just get everything ready, and then I will let you know as soon as you text me the number. Marianne? Yes? I just want to say, uh, did you ever listen to Wackhead Simpson and Joburg? <laughs> <laughs> is this Wackhead? It is, Marianne! <laughs> oh, you're such a <laughs> bloody hell! You're the Yes, like it. I'm sitting here thinking, oh, this guy, yes, like it. What am I going to do? <laughs> okay, Marianne, is there anybody in South Africa you'd like to say hello to? Hello, Renee. This is Marianne Iso. Um, I was a bracket for years, and um, I can just say, um, I was very excited, and I was very, very lief for you, and I hope that you all look good to yourself, and um, all of the best. I could be weird as better to have a that now here by us. It's lief for you. Bye bye. Roland, we're going home! Shame. <laughs> what a helpful lady. Ah, oh, shame. I'm sure she had the best intentions. Oh, she eh? probably would have bought them the ticket. She was ready. She was going <laughs> to send the, the ticket to the hotel. 